guys, it's your girl T and I want to go ahead and shout out Helen Wambe. Helen sent me this story and it's causing a lot of controversy online, okay? So it's concerning this woman's group, it's called Women on 20. So basically they started this social media crusade to get Andrew Jackson off of the $20 bill. They're saying that he's no hero, he massacred a bunch of Indians, you know what I'm saying, he's an unfit president and that he needs to come off of the $20 bill. And so they had started doing this campaign, they took it to change.gov and all these other websites and they were also asking people to nominate women who they feel should take place of Andrew Jackson. So now that the nominations are in and the person they picked to put on the $20 bill is Harriet Tubman. So now this is causing a lot of controversy. Some folks are saying, you know what, we do need a woman on the $20 bill. Harriet Tubman is a perfect choice because she ran the Underground Railroad and you know she put her life out there. She saved a lot of people. Other folks are saying that this is a no-go, this is not right, this is sexist and how dare they try and remove Andrew Jackson off of the $20 bill. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Women on 20s is a group devoted to replacing Andrew Jackson's picture on the $20 bill with one of a woman. For months, they've been narrowing the field of which female that should be, and they've finally decided on one. The abolitionist Harriet Tubman was selected via an online poll conducted on the organization's website. Among the four candidates, Tubman received just over 33% of the votes. Eleanor Roosevelt pulled in enough support to land her in second place. Rosa Parks finished third, and in fourth was Cherokee Nation Principal Chief Wilma Mankiller. Women on 20s is asking that people support the campaign by using the hashtag Dear Mr. President when discussing the push to put a woman on paper money. It's their feeling that it's high time for such a thing to happen. The group's executive director said, Our paper bills are like pocket monuments to great figures in our history. Our work won't be done until we're holding a Harriet $20 bill in our hands. Congress is currently discussing an act that addresses the matter at large. Ultimately, however, it's up to the Secretary of the Treasury to decide if a woman will appear on the 20, and if so, who it will be. All right, so you guys just watched the news clip. So like I said, it seems like a lot of people are mixed about this. A lot of folks are happy about this. They do feel like it's time that a woman or a black person be placed on an American currency. But other folks are saying no. I want you guys to go ahead and check out some of these comments that will come back with the rest of my commentary. You guys just saw all those comments. All I do think that Harriet Tubman is the right female to be put on the $20 bill because this woman literally put her life in danger. There were all types of bounties on her head and she went back down south several times to not only save herself and her family members but also numerous men, women, and children. So I definitely feel like Harriet Tubman is definitely a hero but I have to be honest with myself, I do not see this happening at all because we live in such a racist society and I just don't see it happening. You know, like you even saw in some of the comments, if they put a black woman on a $20 bill, they just won't spend any 20s. They'll, they'll just use other bills as opposed to a 20. I just don't see it happening. A lot of folks saying they don't like Andrew Jackson because of what he did to the Indians. But let's keep it real, a lot of these founding fathers were shady as hell. I mean, Thomas Jefferson is on the $2 bill and he was a known pedophile. He had a long-term affair with Sally Hemmings, who at the time was 13 years old, and yet and still he's praised and he's on the $2 bill. You know, George Washington owned a lot of slaves and also from what I heard mistreated a lot of his slaves. So, you know, my thing is where does it stop? If we take Andrew Jackson off because of what he did to the Indians, well then how about taking George Washington off of the dollar bill for owning slaves? How about taking Thomas Jefferson off of the two dollar bill for being a damn pedophile? You know, so I just don't see it happening, but I do respect them for, you know, coming up with this cause and trying to get somebody other than a white male to be placed on some currency. I think it would be interesting to see somebody of color on American currency and definitely a woman. I think that'd be very, very interesting. But like I said, in my heart of hearts, I just don't see it happening. If it does happen, that's great, but I just don't see it happening. Another so thing that's raising eyebrows is Raven Simone was on The View today and she basically also stated that she does not want Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill. She 
feels like it should be Rosa Parks or somebody more progressive because everything that Harriet Tubman did was so long Vince ago. To everyone who's going to be mad at me for saying this, I don't, I don't like that idea. I don't like Why it. Why not? Um, I think we need to move a little bit more forward. There's a lot of other ways. Yes, I, I understand. Let me just preface. I understand the history. I get it. Trust me. I was taught. I'm in that culture. But there was also yeah, William right, a man killer. There's also Rosa Parks, Eleanor Roosevelt, and Harriet Tubman. And I would have, me personally, I would have chosen Rosa Parks. I would have chosen someone that is closer to the progression that we're doing now. And I know you have to, you have to understand history so you don't repeat it, but that doesn't really happen in, in our world because we still repeat history history of hating other cultures over and over again. So I would choose a different one, no offense. I think we can all agree, though, that a woman should be on the face of our currency. For sure. And you know, it doesn't require. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And this is another thing that does not require an act of Congress. All you have to do is the Treasury Secretary has to say it's so. And that's a guy. So maybe we should call him. Yeah. We should call I think him. We should, right yeah. now. What about you guys? Do you think Harriet Tubman's a good choice? I like Rosa Parks. I like Rosa Parks. I like, I, like, I like Harriet Tubman. Um, you know, she set a precedent. She was very bold. She risked her life um, over and over and over again with the Underground Railroad. Three more than 300 flights. Yes. Yep. And, um, you know, uh, and, and it's, it would be good if it was Harriet. It would be good if it was Eleanor Roosevelt, Rosa Parks, Wilma. I don't care, just as long as it's a woman. Yes. And why do we have to choose? There are tons of guys on money, like... Why couldn't we have a four? You know, and we have one more to add to the list. Can we see it? We mocked one up. <laughs> <laughs>